Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tees, and this week we got Father Todd Sieberberg, hey, the rector, my boss. Good to see ya. Hey, que no te confundas. Okay, everyone, so it is the Tees, the place where we tease out the scripture before we jump head first into it on, this, on the weekend. And uh, Father Todd, um, you know, this, this weekend, uh, we're just going to be talking about Doubting Thomas, right? That's the gospel. I, I, I like Doubting Thomas, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's the theme for this coming Sunday. But yeah, but that's, that, that's, that, 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 that's the gospel. I mean, that's what we are going to be talking about. Well, right? we will, we'll probably mention Doubting Thomas, but that's probably not what we're going to be focusing on, dwelling on for this coming Sunday. So you're saying it's doubtful that we'll be talking about the Doubting Thomas this weekend, even though it's the gospel. I would show you signs. Uh, well, about why it is that we're not going to do that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I like to see the signs and actually put my hand right on that sign that says we're not doing the Doubting Thomas, even though it's the gospel. You could put your finger right through it. Yeah, you could. That sign. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if we're not talking about on this tease and the gospel of the Doubting Thomas, then yeah. what? Then what's this Sunday all about? I mean, it's, it's what? It's the, it's the first Sunday after Easter. So it's the second second. Sunday of Second Easter. Sunday of Easter, right? Okay. Right? You're good. You're good. You're, been, uh, right. you're, you're, you're getting it. Okay. You're getting it. So maybe maybe we're talking about uh, the Easter eggs and, and uh, all the lost ones that are out there. Uh, there are so many lost ones, and the good Easter bunny goes and finds the lost one. But uh, that, that well, I like that. Okay. That's not the theme for this coming Sunday. Okay. You got me. What? What? What is the theme? What are we going to talk about? We got all these people here waiting. Well, so it is the first Sunday after Easter, okay. second Sunday of, of Easter, but the uh -huh. first Sunday after Easter. And so that would remind us of 1 Corinthians 13. 13. Oh! oh! Okay. All right. So if you all remember, it's, it's been the news and events. So say you didn't know this. We've been talking about this and preaching yeah. it. If it's the first Sunday after Easter, that means this is the Sunday that we're all going to stand up together. We are. And have it in our noggin. Speak in the tongues of men, men and, and of, of angels, angels, but have, have not love. love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging, clanging cymbal. So this weekend, we will be, we're stepping into it. So Father Todd, you know, I know a lot of people have been working really hard at this. They've actually been getting they it down. They have. <laughs> what are some of the benefits of memorizing scripture that you find in your life? Well, I think one of the big pieces is, so it's it's in there in your head. And so when we run into life situations or things happen to us, you know, what do we do about them? How do we think about those things? Well, we we think about them because of the stuff that's in our head that we put in our head. Uh, so, for instance, um, if if we're stuck in traffic and then uh, we get frustrated, but then we remember um, from this passage that um, that love is not easily angered mm -hmm. and it keeps no record of wrongs. Mm -hmm. Well, then all of a sudden I got to think, oh, well, so maybe there's another way of being able to do this instead of given somebody uh, 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 an expression of my emotion. Oh, express, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, but the important thing, the other piece that's important is that, so now, so we experienced the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. So mm -hmm. the tomb is broken open. And so in a lot of ways, this season of 50 days of Easter, the tomb breaks open and what comes out is love. Love gushes out for us. And so this is 50 days for us. We've been memorizing it. But we can now kind of live it. 50 days of resurrected love as we go through. It's like, what does it mean for us to be able to live like this? It hmm. changes your whole way of looking at things, your whole way of living. This is, uh, so this is powerful stuff. It is. So if you haven't done it yet, or if you're still working on it, get it down so we can stand up united. Even at CFW, it's not going to be up on the screens. So it's going to be hopefully in our noggins. This is a, a part of our Christian formation, a big piece of this. Love never fails but if there are prophecies, they, they will cease. If there, there are, are tongues, tongues, they will be stilled. stilled. And just, I just want to make sure that you remember, these three remain, <laughs> faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Uh. Hey, que no te confundas.